Hey everybody, Joseph here from Clinica La Manzana. Recently, I have heard quite a few people having problems with iPhone 12 boards and newer having some pads on them that are extremely oxidized after separating the boards and cleaning up the pads. And I finally ran into this issue myself. So I thought I'd make a video on it really quick on how we are restoring these pads. I have had luck. Um, as you can see here, this is this is kind of what's going on with it. Um, some pads look half oxidized, the others look all the way oxidized. Like you can see the three ground points coming through uh, those three pads down there. And this is where I've been playing around. So what we're going to do is, well, we might as well work with one or two of these pads right down here. Now, they don't take solder. If you have played with this, you will know. Um, grab a little paste, try to get some solder on it, the ones next to it, above it, the sides of it, yes, but those will not. So what I've found, honestly, is scratch the crap out of them. Um, we'll, we'll clean this up a little bit so you can see underneath the flux. Oops, that's the wrong part of the board. This takes quite a bit more pressure than you would think to be able to mar the surface up. Um, and just really, really get on there. There you go. That was like quite a bit of force, I'll be honest. Now I'm gonna put some flux on it again. It's not a very loving, tender, sensitive thing. I'm running 700 degrees. And I am using, if you want to know, SPX Low Temperature Solder Paste by Geelong. But this is really old paste, and that's only because I haven't really done anything new. And then when you have your solder on your tip, you really actually got to put some force down on it as well. You can kind of see around the edges, it's starting to lighten up. Grab some solder from that pad up there. There we go. That pad is there. Do a little bit more. I like to use a larger iron for wicking. Let's see if this wicks well or not. Well, it doesn't look like it wicked well. It looks like it's still all pretty much gone. Grab a little more paste. Does it take lead? Not easily. But it does, so pad next to it, not really taking any. It kind of is. Let's try a lot of force just on it by itself. Oh, it does. I'm afraid I might break that pad off if it go any harder. I'm putting down some good pressure on this. So that one, oh, it's kind of starting around the edge of it, but not scratch you up pretty solidly. There we go. So that is how I've been getting some of these pads to come back that are arguing with wanting to take solder or not. Instead of calling it a dead board or ripping the pads off and redoing them, this one in the middle of those five, let's see if we can get that a little bit better. I guess the only issue you'd run into is that they do take some convincing. Are you going to just pre-tin most all these pads to then put the boards together? That might be the good option. Um, but at least it's not a trash board. So, that's what I've ended up doing for these pads. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to... Uh, like and subscribe um, <laughs> and i'll be trying to come up with more content that's useful if i see problems like this have a good day